do. Peter Ducey, thank you so much for asking the only question. And her response to the Hunter Biden laptops were, there was a lot of Russian disinformation at the time. That's it. She's not denying. She's not supplying. And that's what's going on. Maricopa County question was taken. And once again, Republicans, I think you need to focus on mail-in ballots and making sure people will use photo ID to vote, not just going through these old election stuff. I, I think it's a waste of time. Whether it's wrong or right is is out of the question, but I think the time should be spent with voter integrity laws and making sure we don't have mail-in, crazy mail-in ballots again. That's what I think it should be about. I don't know why people are so obsessed with recounts and stuff like that. Even if it is wrong, I get it. It it sucks. It hurts. It or whatever. But it should be folk. You should put your focus on making sure that when people go to vote, they have to show ID, and it's not so easy for fraud to happen. Or or I left this ballot here, and they can do ballot harvesting and stuff like that. That should be your focus instead of the other things. Anyways, also the press conference we talked about the photo that came out for the horsies. And it's a sparking emotional reaction. So people are basing everything on emotion, and that's been allowed to do. Joe Biden came out and said that he's angry and he's going to do swift justice, but yet they're going to have uh, uh, they're going to do an um, investigation. But at the same time, during that investigation, you have a president of the United States already basically condemning people based on a photo. And in photos, you can take things out of context. You can do whatever you want. It's like watching a replay in slow motion. Things look different in slow motion. You don't take in context of what's happening. You don't know what's being said. You don't know what's going on. Also, can we just talk about why doesn't this administration care about actually protecting the border? Imagine that. Imagine if uh, we had uh, a country that was worried about people just going in and out of the border and instead doing whatever means necessary to keep from people crossing the border illegally instead of encouraging only legal migration. Imagine that. But everything is seen as racist these days. Everything sparks emotion. Everything hyster is hysterical because that's the kind of culture we live in today where everything needs to be put out of context and insane and create emotion because that emotion creates voters and it creates people dividing and instead of recognizing similarities or things we have in common we're more focused on how we're different and how what the other person is doing to the other person everything is bs every question is answered and thank you trish exactly everything is not being answered all these questions were uh they were just bad answers and they don't care because this administration knows that the average person, A, doesn't watch these press conferences like your boy does because I take the time because I feel like this is the only information we get out of the White House because I don't, those, when Joe Biden talks, I just, I just consider him just silly and the questions he gets asked or he always has a list and like today he had like answered two questions and that seemed to be okay and no one cares and the press is like, whatever, I don't care, really. I miss a president that would actually answer questions, but you know, here we are. Here we are. We have this administration. We're entering crisis after crisis, and they pretend they know that their voter base doesn't pay attention. Like they don't care. So when Peter Ducey asks a question about why are these ladies like yesterday, uh, they just announce that they're pregnant, and then they can be a granted citizenship, and they can have you know they can just say they're pregnant. And instead of her actually answering the question, she just went into him being worried about pregnant people and as if he's like scared of pregnant women running around everywhere it's ridiculous but this is where we're at in politics you can just say whatever you want do whatever you want as long as you're a great social media influencer people don't actually take the time to read about you to get to know you to look back in your history to know what's going on people just look at your instagram pictures and how it makes them feel and if you say the right things at the right time, that's all that matters. You don't actually have to do anything. You just have to say things. It makes people feel good on the inside. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me. Be sure to check out my video that just came out on the ASU viral video about, and just our 
overall temperament when it comes to segregation and how it's just encouraged in today's world. Be sure to call this number or text this number at 720-727-7572 if you have any questions or want to be a part of my weekend episode show. If you want to support my show, go to buymeacoffee.com slash Derek O'Shea Show. I also have a link always at the bottom of my videos. You can be a supporter of the show if you care about my work. I put a lot of work into this, and I greatly appreciate those that you do. It freaking means the world to me that you go, I like your work so much, I'll pay a couple dollars a month just to be a part of the club. And as always, I'll have extra videos coming out. The more people that are a part of that, the more videos I'll do uh, that won't aren't allowed on YouTube, that we can discuss things that... I'm not allowed to discuss on here. And I'm not saying I'm going to curse a lot. I'm just saying that there are some issues and some things you're not allowed to talk about on this, on all these platforms. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you. I hope you have a fan freaking tastic.